After hundreds of hours of slaying wraiths, saving kingdoms, and killing kings, Gwent was what we all went back to. I say we all, I didn't, because I had never understood the game very well. <laughs> but this is its complete standalone edition of Gwent, the Witcher card game. The people over at CD Projekt Red have made a whole fucking game about that card game that most people played instead of the actual Witcher 3 game. Wonderful. Hopefully this is going to teach me how to play. I understand it basically. I don't understand tactics though. So, tutorial maybe please? Wonderful. Welcome to Gwen. Welcome to the tutorial. Yes! Keep in mind, some of these cards are different from the multiplayer versions. If you want to return to this tutorial once you're done, you can launch it from the challenges menu. You start oh, it's Siri. Wages, Hello. Perhaps I should refresh you on the rules. Yes, please. We've had a few changes lately. Awesome. The goal of the game is yeah. to gather more total strength in your opponent. Effect. Fine. Spit it out. There's supposed to be a Witcher film, isn't there? Oh my god, I can't wait for that. That just reminded me of the film. Losing already. Oh god. <laughs> Don't get excited. I have some powerful surprises for later. Right. You so can see the total strength of your unit to the bottom of the screen. Your opponent's total strength is at the top. Laid out several cards. Yes. Yes. Easier to explain this way. Right. Uh, placing units on the battlefield increases your total strength. I understand that bit. Right. Yeah. I shall go first. Right. Each player can only play one card per turn. I get that. Aha. Each unit can only be played in a certain row for rows. Yes, because there's close range, medium range, long range, and then trebuchet sort of stuff. E yeah, for example, yeah, melee row. Yeah, I get ya. Ranged row, siege row. Right. Okay, so maybe I actually accidentally added an extra one. So it's medium, uh, yeah, long, medium, far. There we go. The icon on the left side of each card shows where it can be played. Play a card. Uh, oh, I've only got one card anyway. Yeah. Ooh. Feels familiar. You have played a unit card, and its strength has been added to your total. Aha, wonderful. And then she's got the same thing. And uh, we're tied. And then I just put this one down. But I remember, I remember that you don't want to kill or take everything out of your hand in the first place. Because that gets rid of your hand and you don't get more cards. Your total strength is higher than your opponent's, meaning you won the first battle. Congrats. Yeah, wonderful. Not like you told me how to win. <laughs> But yeah, I mainly do this tutorial for the sake of me and for the sake of people that do not understand how Gwent is played. Um, swap up to three cards for the new cards drawn in your deck. Oh, okay. This time, swap out your special cards. Okay, swap out the decoy commander's horn and first light cards. There we go. Uh, commander's horn and first light. There we go. Start by playing a powerful card. Perhaps. Oh. This one. Oh, they've actually animated them as well. Pretty good. That's well cool. Right, so that goes right in the front. Now watch this. Many cards are special abilities. For example, the card series about to play will play it will play another instance of itself from my deck. Oh fuck. Oh. Why didn't my card have an ability? That's cool. Then play this. Play Vernon Roach now and choose which enemy to target. Oh, so you can kill people with Vernon. Uh, get rid of that one. Yes. If you reduce the unit strength to zero, it is destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Can you always attack, or can you just... No, I don't think you can ever normally attack. You literally just, um... You literally just only get the chance. You deploy a damage enemy by five. Right, okay. Uh, what are we on? 11 to 17. So, maybe we should go for a long range. Because, realistically, we don't want to kill all our cards in one go. So, let's do the one at the back. And we'll take out another four? Wait, what? What? Uh, damage enemy by three, so we'll have to kill that then. I dare say this will be Sirius about to play Scorch. This card destroys the strongest use of the battlefield. Okay, that's good, because that means, uh, well, to be fair, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Oh! Guessing the cards with the gold frames are the best. Oh, that, <laughs> that was awesome! Gold cards are immune to most card abilities. You can recognize them by the gold frames. This is going to be a full on, like, Hearthstone where you have to buy cards, isn't it? I'm going to get fucking sucked into this. Having more cards than your opponent is crucial to winning. Never play more than you need. They must last you for the entire match. Yes, Remember that's what, what I'm saying. Say. Uh, you, you only need to win two out of three rounds. Once you pass, you can't play any more cards that round, while your opponent can continue to play as much as they want. Aha. To pass, highlight the clone and then press and hold the quit. Yeah, okay, there you go. Yeah, so that's what you got to do. It's, it's like a, a mock-up between whether you want to actually, like... Kill all of your cards in one go, or let them win just so that they use larger cards kind of thing. 
Starting round two, wonderful. Um, it might let me have a go this round. At the start of the second round, both players will draw two cards from their decks. Having more cards in your hand than your opponent gives you a significant advantage. It puts you in control of the flow. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. What does she get? Uh, deploy damage and AWR 5. Okay. Choose a card to redraw. Um... What don't I want? Well, that can kill... Uh, no ability for eight. Uh, five. Uh, she can kill... She can damage an enemy by five. So, swap out a ballista? What did I get? Ooh, boost the unit to the left by two. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, so, he, she's put uh, seven down, so... Uh, what, ooh, what do we have? Aha, that's a good idea. If we put that down... We go for that, and then go for that at the front... Oh, God. Okay, aha. Okay, yeah, now dip that to the front. To the left, that takes up to nine, so that's 14. Um, okay, so we've got uh, deploy damage for enemy by three. So, I'm not sure. Damage an enemy by five, so I could take the spider out. That might be a good idea, actually. Let's do that. Let's take the spider out. Get rid of the spider, so she's got four cards and down to 13. You know, you really should pass now. Yeah. You'll win no matter what. You have more total strength than your opponent who's just passed. There's no point in playing any more cards. Yes. Good idea. Awesome. So, th so yeah, you've basically got the idea of Gwent now. But uh, we'll finish this final round, then we'll go into something Ready? proper. We At the start of round three, both so of you will draw one team. card. Ah. The game, the battle, the day. Yes, Siri, we will. What do I get? Another fucking ballista. I just got rid of that. Uh, choose a card to redraw. Um... Well, they're all really high, so I'm going to go for change the ballista out again. Aha! I've got the same thing again. Awesome! <laughs> so that'll go down the front with that, and then that'll basically... I've I've won, unless she has cards that can kill mine, basically. Like, if she scorches and kills, like, one of these guys off. Is it my turn? Oh, it is my turn. Oh, sorry. Oh, what was that? Deploy. Consume the unit to the right. Timer. Uh, to start time, consume the unit to the right, then restart time. I don't know. I ain't got a fucking clue what that is. Semper Make that... Semper Fi! Ooh, that was what I was worried about. What did that do? That only did two damage. That's not too bad. So, that's uh, a three. Uh, let me... Yeah, let's put a medium range down. Because there's nothing to kill with the ballista, so there's not much point in bothering to do that. Um, Fine. You win. Congrats. Oh, cool, I won. Oh, I'm guessing... Oh, it consumes the unit to the right every two turns, I'm guessing. You now have more total strength than your opponent. You can play your remaining cards or pass, or either way you'll win the round because your opponent has passed and cannot increase the total strength. Uh, go on then. Well, yeah, let's just do it. I am very aware. I, I'm very aware. <laughs> yes. Alert, Truly classy. Truly classy. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to, aren't I? Oh, yeah, I will rub it in. There we go. Yes. <laughs> I won a 52 to 10. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Victory. Wonderful. So, yes, you now understand how to play Gwen. Whether or not I will actually do any good in matches of Gwen is yet to be seen. Oh, Eredin. Oh, Eredin versus Henselt. Oh, yeah, because you get different deck names, didn't you? Swap out cards you don't want to use in this battle. When you're satisfied with your cards, press the button to start the game. Okay. What don't I want? Um, I don't know. Surely none of these are bad things to have. If if you don't you don't want to use oh you don't want to use uh you don't want to use in this battle. Oh, you swap cards you don't want to use in this battle. Finish redrawing. Hide cards. I'd I'd say there's not much point. It's it wants me to get rid of this one for some reason. First light. Uh, spawn clear sky or rally. Uh, nah. That's a good idea to keep him. And then ballista change. We're almost done. I've one last thing to show you. Oh, I got two of them. Play Fuck. This card and you shall see. Uh, okay. There we go. What? What did it do? Oh God. See that? That dear Geralt was a leader card in action. Why? What does it do? You can only use your leader card once per game. Playing your leader card ends your turn. Just like setting out any other card. Go on, your turn. Use your leader That's ability. Your drag your lead. Ooh. Ah. Drag your leader card onto the battlefield using that. Oh, okay. So spawn a base copy of the bronze ally on its row. You're one piece. Fight for it. 
Oh. Oh, button up. Weather's about to turn. Oh yeah. Weather effects down a row and affect all units. Oh yeah, I forgot it. That I remember. I hate that. Because there's like there's cards to clear it, but I didn't keep it, which is silly. Usually you want to use weather cards when your opponent has significantly more strength than you do on a specific row. Some cards like Eridin are immune to effects like of the weather cards. The oh weather fuck. Can be Catch. Play the Kiss, guys. There we go. Um, trigger all weather on your morning. side, then clear all weather from your side. There we go. Yes. I like that it's giving me cards, thank god. <laughs> Play this too. What's this? Uh, oh, a rallying call. I don't know what that did, actually. I should have checked. Oh, it just added all the stuff up. Right. Sweet. I, I have. Plus pass for holding space. Then prove it. Yeah, I won the round. Woo! Starting round two. I'll tell you what. We understand the rough idea of the card game now. You probably all understand basically how most of this works. So, right. I'm going to jump back when we get into a... Oh! No, we're playing a real match. No, here's the handicaps. Forget what I was saying then. Okay, you know the basics. Good luck and have fun. Wonderful. Um, first light I'm going to keep. Uh, Blue Stripes Commando, I do really don't need two of those. Uh, sure you don't want to redraw more cards. Uh, cancel that. Redraw that, please. What was that? Um, oh, Ballista. <coughs> <coughs> so first card to play on the battlefield. Uh, let's make it a... Well, I have that, so it's probably a good idea to start with him. Yeah, okay, let's pop him down, and then we'll go for the Blue Stripes Commando at the front. Obviously, he does have the clear thingy, but I have the clear sky, so it shouldn't be too much of a bother. Yes, there we go, up to 11 for 5, so that's 16. Uh, he's on 18, shit. So, uh, I've won 2 out of 3, so I can, I can stand to lose most of my cards this round to win. Yeah, okay. Uh, he's got for a seven, so there's not really much point in me doing anything about that. Uh, put him there, maybe. Put him on the front row. Uh, yeah, go on then. It doesn't... Ah, it doesn't do that one. Fuck. Shit, 25 for 25. Uh... I can't play him anymore, because that leader card's been done. Uh, let's get someone on the middle row. Because I imagine that he might end up using the sky thing to actually bung out all the middle. Oh, there's a free guy. We can get rid of him. We can get rid of the Necker. Uh, get rid of the Necker. There we go. Uh, what else for now? Oh, and another Necker. That's good, because we can get rid of that Necker. <laughs> See, it's not too bad, because obviously I can throw my cards out this round because I'm winning. It shouldn't really be too much of a problem. So, basically, just keep going until we outdo him, pretty, pretty much. Yeah, I don't have anything else to counter that. So, that... And then that should be it, really. And then he's passed, and then I've won. That was quite easy. Yeah. And we won the round. Nice. Victory! So, yeah, it was just a matter of making sure that, obviously, you... I don't know, you can kind of just spam all your cards down on the f on the last round. Who knows, you may indeed have the makings of a Gwent professional. Congrats, you've mastered the fundamentals of Gwent. Wonderful, you can play challenges to get to know each faction's strength. Yes, there is a lot of the factions, that is the worst bit. You have been awarded 25 ore to purchase... There we go. Oh, 50 ore as well. 100 ore. Whee. Okay, so we've done the fundamentals. Deck management, uh, let's go back and see if we can just get into a game. Uh, patch notes, blah, 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 blah. Might play a single player. Let's play a friendly game of Gwent. Uh, Skelliger pack. I don't have all of... Oh, actually, no. I have all the cards. Monster starter deck, Squirtel, or the Nilfgaard. Uh, Spawn, uh, Crotch on Crate. Uh, crack, or... Cr I can't remember how you say it now. It's been a while since I played The Witcher 3. <laughs> uh, I know it's Crate, anyway. Um, Emir. Uh, Return an ally to your hand. Uh, Francesca. I like the Squirtel idea. Mulligan up to three cards. Uh, spawn a bronze wild hunt unit. Uh, boost all units in your hand. Let's get a go with the Squirtel pack. Let's go with the Squirtel. Hopefully, there is a worthy opponent on the horizon. I've selected the Squirtel starter deck pack. Oh, opponent found. I was slightly surprised. I thought I was going to have to edit that. <laughs> I love it when I don't have to edit. Press those vermin. Wonderful. Fold test versus... Squirtel. Yes, Squisilis Civilian. Who am I going to start off with? Hopefully someone decent. Ooh. A swallow Potion. Boost the unit by 8. Ooh. Damage your unit by 7. 
Uh, boost two units by... Uh, boost two units to the right. Boost two units to the right by three. Okay. Um, what? Uh, maybe I should get rid of that. Or maybe I should get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. Uh, a one. Deploy an enemy and copy its power. Oh, choose an enemy and copy its power. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that. I like that. Oh, they need to have stuff to click on. <laughs> Is it my turn? Oh, opponent's turn. So I'm gonna start out with Well, these are golds. I don't want to kill my golds at the first go. Uh let's get Toggling units lock. I don't know what that does. Oh, it's it's me anyway. Ooh. What is that? Choose an enemy and copy its power. Ooh. Should I can I can I choose him? Yes! <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> oh, that was so good. That is an awesome card. The score teller awesome. I said awesome four times just because they're so good. Oh, opponent's making a choice. They get to pick a card, I suppose. Oh, ouch. Oh, that put me back down to one. Oh, fudge. Uh, okay. Geralt Witcher. Deploy, um, I don't really want to deploy Geralt already, because it's a bit fucking early in the times. So he's already got an 8 out, though. Uh, deploy damage unit by 5. That ain't gonna do me no good. Uh, deploy, ugh. Should I get Geralt out now? Yes, let's get Geralt out now, then. Wonderful. So he's on the 13. So I, boost unit by 8. I could win this round by boosting that unit. Huh. Let's boost him. I can't boost him. Okay, so I could boost that unit by 8 and make him 9. Although I could do that with my uh, my 6, actually. I don't, want, I don't want all these people on the same plane, though. So let's get 5 down and then add 8, maybe? Or what does this do? Um, mulligan up to 3 cards. Exchange a certain number of cards in your hand for cards from your deck, including golds, unless stayed otherwise. Uh, okay. Damage enemy by 3 and then 1. Okay. Let's take him out then. Oh, <gasps> what? What the fuck? Why did he get to 10? Whoever, oh, who, whenever this unit's armor reaches zero, boost self by. F I didn't fucking see that. Crap. Um. Shit. I'm gonna. Tell you what. I'm gonna pass this turn. I'm gonna pass this turn for sure. Because I, I would have I would have put like a lesser card down, but I don't really have anything that low. Apart from the four, which I could have put down actually. But uh, I don't really want to because it's got a thing. Um, boost five adjacent four. Oh, boost five adjacent units by four. Jesus. Okay. Um, I don't have that many units on the same row though, do I? No, not particularly. Ooh. Oh, I got clear weather. That works, I suppose. Opponent's turn. Wonderful. Um, I think Triss is going to have to come out this round. Because I'm not really going to have any other idea of what to do. He's going first. So I should... Aha! Perfect. Okay, so. That comes out on the first line. Takes him out. So that's him gone. Wonderful. Uh, I can't really boost anyone yet. I might boost someone this round, but I don't know. Uh, so that I can't take out. I don't know what the lock does, though. Talk of this unit's lock. A dwarf of uh oh crap no uh no I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna attack him though shit shit that was a stupid idea oh fine forget it I can't take the oh oh lock oh I thought he was gonna hit him I don't know what the lock does though I assume it stops him from being able to do the thing I don't know uh forget it then don't worry opponent is making a choice I might mulligan some cards near the end. I don't know. Mulligan only works if you know you're going to lose. I should have mulliganed. Why didn't I mulligan and get fucking thing back? I'm an idiot. Crap. Uh, okay, so this... Uh, two units to the right by three. Let's do that now, then. Yeah. We ought to help one or the other. Oh, but I can't do anything to Mage. Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't realise I couldn't do anything to Triss. She sounds familiar. I can't remember who she is. I have... Shit. 23. Could I, should I boost someone by 8 now? Or, or damage a unit by 7? Oh, no. 
Fuck. Uh, I can't do anything. Crap. Well, I have to win this round or I lose. So, do I pop this down? Boost the unit by 8. Let's do it. Yes, 17. Oh, 28. So, he'll have to put cards down to fuck me up. What, what, what's his uh, boost all units in the hand and deck by 1? That won't do him any good at the minute. What the hell was that? Oh, it just boosted everyone by one. Oh, God, I don't know what to do. Damaging it by seven. Exchange a certain number of cards in your hand from the cards for your deck. Ah, oh, okay, so you can just start swapping cards. Right. That ain't really any good to me at the moment. Um, uh, I don't know what to do. Because I can't... I'm going to have to put a guy down. Damage enemies by three and then one. Actually... Get him? No, I have to hit him for some reason. One. Yeah. <laughs> so I could get rid of him, but he's down to four, though. What the fuck? What was that? Oh, he got him back. No, he made him 11. Shit. What is he going to do with him, though? I don't... Why is he in the air? Oh, you put him back. I'm still winning, though. And he only has three cards. Sugar. Um, oh, I don't know. Oh, I really don't know. Uh, damage an enemy. Uh, it depends what he has left. Because if he's just got this kind of... Actually, should I pass? No, just in case. Let's put a five down. Damage an enemy by three. If the unit was not destroyed, boost self by two. Okay. Uh, that one. Yes. So that means I should win. I should win. Plus I've got the damage by seven. That's fine. That's fine if he locks me. 33. Um. Oh, I don't know what he's got left. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, God, I don't know what to do. Well, I could, uh, I could stand to lose. Could I stand to lose anyone? I could stand to lose. Tr no, I couldn't lose Triss. I could lose Triss and put him in though. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's Mulligan. Put Mulligan down. And then, uh, choose a card to redraw. Aha! Uh -huh, no, I can redraw cards. Uh, okay. Um. Redraw that one. Uh, cancel. Redraw this one. Uh, redraw it again. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Finish redrawing. <laughs> I accept. <laughs> Definitely. So that means I should have won. And then I have an 11. Oh. No! Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so boost self by one for each dwarf ally, including golds. Damage an enemy in the number of elf allies, including golds. Um, I don't know. This one? This guy? No, I can't hit him, so take out this gun. Yeah, 14. <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> What's he going to do? What has he got left? What has he got fucking left? I can win. I can win by taking damage to a seven, can't I? No. Yes. Uh, I can get rid of... I can take that. Oh, it's 52-52! <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no! Alright, well... Uh, I can win then. I'll have. I have to win. I just. I have to win. Oh God! This is. We're going into the round, and I have to hope that I actually get. If I get one thing, that is it. Oh, he stays. He stays. All right, redraw. No, what? I didn't get to redraw it. Oh, that's fine actually. That is actually fine because that means he's at ten. He's at nine. Unless he has a nine or higher of one. Yes. 
Oh yes, I fucking won it as well. <laughs> yes. Oh, that was so lucky. Oh, that was awesome. Send a good game. That was a real, real good game. Oh god, that was cool. Oh, cool. Awesome. Oh, I got 15 ore. Cool. <laughs> I did not, I did not in my world expect to win that. Right, well, anyway, I'm going to call that that because we've played a game, we've figured out how it works, and it's fun. This is really fun, actually. I'm going to do... I'll tell you what, I might either Twitch stream this or I might play more on this YouTube channel. You'll have to let me know because I... Well, that... That was really fun. I really enjoyed Gwen. I didn't really like it in The Witcher 3, but on this, as a standalone, it's bloody good. But yeah, I hope we've all understand how we play, and whether you've hopefully enjoyed my winning, which was really, really un... Well, actually, really surprising. I was going to say unsurprising, but it was really fucking surprising. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, um, I'll definitely do some more videos on it. Like, uh, like some people do Hearthstone, I'll just play Gwent because it's fun. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, let me know, and I'll... Uh... I'll see you next time.